Okay, so just tell everyone your name. Do I look at the. No, you can look at me. My name is Renee Fields. And so you're from Oregon. From Oregon. But originally Southern California. Southern California. Grew up um, a young woman at the beach. Oh, I really? A, can I was you a surf? dispatcher for the lifeguards, yes. You were a dispatcher for the lifeguards? For the lifeguards. I've never met so, a dispatcher <clears throat> for lifeguards. Oh, right, right. Have you? No. For, well, our lifeguards were state police. Really? And so they could They're either, actual state police? Yes. For the California State Park System, we have lifeguards and rangers. I didn't know that. So I worked right on the beach, and everybody's in their bathing suits. Did you wear suits. bikinis? Well, not when I was dispatching. Did you wear, like, one of those Baywatch bathing That's suits? where the boots came from. Oh, this was in the early 90s. I was in Southern California at the beach. Oh. And I worked with. And why not, right? Right. And everybody it was else, safe. Yeah, everybody else was doing they it. They were 100% safe. safe and inert and lasted your lifetime. Yeah, that's what I was told. Right? You know, you'd be put in the ground with boobs sticking oh. up. Your boobs will look great. Oh. You won't. But your I boobs was told. They I did would tell me I'd have to be have them out if I wanted to be cremated. Oh, what? what? Yes, that the silicone gel that you couldn't be cremated, it would ruin the... I was never told that. I was never told that either. And I want to be cremated. Me too. Actually, I, now I'm going to donate my body to so a hospital I. like U of M or, or I Michigan am. State somebody. I'm just going to give them my silicone. body. I know there's There's a wad in my spleen. There's, uh, yeah, I have no doubt there's silicone. So you get your implants. Yes. And you're working. And you're healthy. And this, yes. for how long does this go on? That your life is, you love them, right? You get them. I you know, loved them. Boy, did I love them. You know what? I did until they started hurting. Yeah. But I loved having breasts. Yeah. And mine looked beautiful. I enjoyed having them. Yeah. They were bigger than I had wanted. My doctor sort of made a determination on the table to go a little bit bigger than we discussed. Yes, so did one of mine. Many times. So did one of mine and then told me to go have fun with them. Right. So I ended up, um, was never one that kind of flaunted. I wore a lot of big me shirts. Too. Me too. You never know I had them. And I, I had not been used to having people talk to me like this. I had been used to having eye contact, and that was hard to get used to. Oh, interesting. Um, but, you know, I had them. They were pretty. The doctor did a good job. Um, didn't what what kind did you have? McGann textured silicone. Oh, too. silicone. Yes. I had and saline. Um, yeah. So I went along with life and thought life was okay. I lived. And a few years after, I didn't put anything together because there was no reason to. But I, safe. I became very depressed. You got them in 1992? 1992. And, I and the was, depression kicked in when? I'm going to say within 24 months for no rhyme or reason. And I fought with that for several years. Going and, to doctors. Uh, going medication. to doctors, medication. I resisted medication for a long time. And... Um, Life became kind of difficult, but I, I had a lot to do. I was busy girl. So I did go on medication, and I stayed on medication for did many, many years. It took the edge off. Okay. But the more educated I became about pharmaceuticals yeah. and antidepressants, antipsychotics, all of these things, I became really worried about what was happening in my brain. Right. And um, then I started having a lot of dental issues. I mean, I was going to the dentist every month, and I'd come out, and they'd say, you have two more fillings, or the root is cracked. And subsequently, really? over the next 20 years, um, I now have lost all of my teeth, and, it, and including three dental implants that I placed. You lost the dental implants as well? That they failed, and it was the high inflammation in my body from the implants and the high bacterial load from the implants over many, many years. And we don't so talk about So is it possible you also reacted to the dental implants? Very likely. Very likely. Because I, I just talked to my dentist about that. Um, like I have, you can see like it's black where yeah. they have a, what's it, what are, what's that the called? The titanium rod. Maybe. Whatever this is. And it's sore if I push on it. Right. And they said I should pull it out because now they have new composite or whatever right. that doesn't have metal. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I do feel... It's sore. There are more biocompatible, but so maybe you were reacting to your breast implants and the dental implants and the as thirteen well. or fourteen root canals. And then imagine your immune system Which with that. Root oh, canals. how many? It's a whole thirteen or fourteen. What? Have you ever heard of the documentary? I tried. Root, root yes. Root root yes. The root canal doctor. And you know they pulled it. They, they, they pulled, pulled it off it. of Netflix because it was causing too many people to become awake. Right? What? So I got to talk. I, I heard implant. It. I heard. Um, 
root canals were so bad that it's you should so never do a root canal. It is, you're right. Um, my holistic doctor says it I is didn't the, know that though. It is the it only thing that dies that we live in our body. We that leave we love, dead, we, that we rotting keep it in our body. In our body. In an encased, sealed environment. Or it can do What do nothing. they do with a root canal? What's a, what do, do they do? In lieu of? Be pulled. Do you mean in lieu of? Or what no, do they how do? do they do a root? What is a root they canal? Take the t okay, so they take, they drill open the top of the surface of the tooth, and they go down into each root canal. And generally, say a molar is going to have four canals, three or four canals. Okay. They go down and they route out the living material and the nerve and down in there. They, they clean it out. And so it's typically just this hollow, cleaned out chamber. And then they repack it with certain types of material, and then they put a crown over it. So we well, keep that dead. The, it's porous, where the nerve root goes and lives into the jawbone. There's transfer, there's blood flow, there's bacterial flow. And so it just lives and festers in this little enclosed chamber for decades. But it's seeping out into your bloodstream. Oh I almost gosh. died. A root canal that I had that failed, didn't know a root canal could fail. So it failed. They retreated it. They can no longer go down the top of the tooth, so they cut a window in your jawbone to get to that root. That failed. I was driving to Carlsbad Police Department for a job interview from Dana Point, and my face started swelling. Oh no. And I'm driving, and the next, pretty much, I ended up in the emergency room that night. They had to cut a drain hole. I had drains hanging out, emergency surgery. Oh my gosh. The bacteria went into my brain. Septic, oh my gosh. Septic. Septic. Two weeks in the hospital, double IV. I know the breast implants had were, compromised my immune system. Did you still have your implants and didn't know you were sick then when all this yes, was happening? Yes. Never. None of this did I place. And everybody's never, I mean, every doctor I went to, and I saw a lot of doctors, I always put what surgeries I've had, breast augmentation. Right. Me too. Never one time, and I had no wherewithal to say, could it have been? Could it be? It wasn't until Nothing. many years later. Why am I not fighting infections? Why are my teeth rotting out of my head? Um, you know, dealing with depression, depression anxiety. Um, I mean, I've had a, a nice life, you know? And to have all of these things, it just didn't make sense. Right. And um, just started losing weight, not looking really good, eyes red, hair falling out. I assumed I was going into menopause. Um, at this point, how old were you? And you've had them for how long? When you started? Yeah, when you thought you were heading into exactly. menopause, how well, old were you? I think I was early, early 50s, so it made sense. But what right. happened was is I started having two menstrual cycles a month. Okay, that's typical perimenopause. And then I stopped cycling completely. Then I, one night, was researching these rashes I was getting. And these rashes... Where were the rashes? Well, they started in my chest, and they would come up mostly the left side of my neck, up into my face, and they the skin would burn and peel. And Oh, my gosh. It turns out that my left side was the side that was ruptured. And that Oh, was, my gosh. Right? See, right, that's telling right there. Okay. But I would go to the doctor, and they would say, you know... How can they keep ignoring this? So, finally, one day, Funny. I was feeling so bad, and I had just had the dental implants out, learning to deal with dentures, and I start, I typed in rashes and something, and I literally fell into Nicole's group. And I opened it, and I was not very computer savvy, but I knew enough to read, and I read. I didn't leave the chair for about 14 hours. Wow. I read everything I could find. I sat in hysterics. I didn't know how to get on Facebook. I didn't know how to manipulate or post. I just knew I needed help. And um, I fell into the group. Thank goodness I was accepted. Um, you have to have a profile. You have to be, you know, oh, legitimate. Oh, yeah. But I had such a bit. I was by the grace of something. And I was, uh, I was scooped up in love and support Aww. Aww. and given um, 
some wonderful guidance and within um, finding the site and within 43 days by the grace of God again I was able to get Medicaid because I wasn't able to work for the last year and a half I was bedridden and um, I got my explant and found out that I was severely ruptured on my left side had a very difficult explant compared to a lot of the ladies that I see pop up within a few days and they're shopping or, you know, and I'm like, wow, um, I think there's a lot more ladies who struggle after explant than what we realize. So who, I don't need the doctor's name, but He's where retired. did you get your explant? In, In Oregon? Oregon, and at the time we had one good doctor. Isn't that and are you, you feel like he did a true end block because I think a lot of women because our news stations and stuff are just saying if you remove them, then all your symptoms go away, but that's absolutely not have true. They have to remove a men block, and that's not being told by a lot of stations. N block is so crucial, especially with silicone. Um, I did Yeah, and then have they have to also clean out the silicone out of you as best they can, too. I had an intracapsular rupture, so I feel what is that? that means that the ruptured silicone did not escape through the capsule oh, into good. my chest. Oh good. But I did have to fight with my doctor to do it. He really only did end block for cancer patients. He agreed to do an end block on my ruptured side. Good. So he, he would, knew what it was. He did. And um, the the pictures are pretty horrific. He would only do a capsulectomy on my right side, which when you are desperate and on Medicaid and you need them out. Um, I did have a high level of faith in him. He had treated a lot of our girls. Um, so, I'm sorry, he did an end block on your left and a capsulectomy on your right? He would not do it on my right. That's and you're still sick right now. That's my concern. I am. So you probably still have remaining tissue in your right breast. There is a possibility. I have looked at the pictures. Um, it would be hard pressed to prove that there was capsule left, but I I will have to go down that road because it's been two plus years. Because I've, I've, I've heard I've I've heard of Dr. Fang and Ursula and yeah. Urzula them mm -hmm. having to go back in Chung, Rankin, all these. Oh yes, and Burnett we've had doctors whatever, Burnett, Burnett, yes, Burnett, Burnett, going in and having to remove after people have had their implants out and get the because they had capsulectomies. Yeah. We've had doctors write I mean, get the, to their reports. Get the rest of the capsule They out. took the entire capsule. They told the ladies verbatim, we took the entire capsule. The ladies remained sick. They've now gone to Urzola, or Dr. Chun, or Dr. Fang, and the entire capsules were still sitting there. Oh my God, this stuff actually was so difficult to get out. No, and these capsules were whole, like whole capsules. Well, the thing, if, this is the thing, if they're not experienced. If they're not skilled. If, they, if they're not skilled, they should not be taking them. No. Right, they can. You might as well just stay sick because you're never going to get better. Right. And your belief is, well, I'm going to get better. They're out when they're not doing the job that they're yeah. supposed to be doing. This is part of the problem that's ruining the studies of all of these women that recover because the they're wrong doctors are explanting, right. and women are not getting better and because I, they're not removing all the capsules. And I feel that's an area that we have to start going in. Yes, is well, educating the doctors on how to remove them. As we become well more well known and women are explanting in mass. We already do not have enough skilled doctors to take to handle this. And they're going to, people are gonna be desperate and doctors are gonna start going to ching to ching, cash in, and not do proper capsulectomy and block. And then that's gotta be one of our main missions. Is we And we know that doctors, yes, it takes more time, it takes more skill. Yeah. You're a doctor for God's sake, rise up and do what you're trained to do and paid very well to do. You know, you're supposed to do no harm. We need help. We need the doctors to help us. We are educating the doctors how to help yeah. us. There's something wrong right, with that. Right, right. You're more educated than they are. There's yeah. really something wrong. So, so um, you got that. So I they got guided them you out. to the right doctor. I got to the best doctor that I could go to at the time with, with my resources. Okay, with Medicaid. The Medicaid. Medicaid. And I was grateful to have it. Yeah. And I would have to say that um, many, many of my, I've not had a rash since explant. Wow. Okay. I have not <coughs> had um, the debilitating fatigue that you just take a shower and have to go back to bed. Yes. I'm able, I'm back to work. It took almost a year. 
I'm a massage therapist. I work oh physically my gosh. hard all day. Yeah. Um, I am able to do my job. My my um, cognitive abilities have come back for the most part. Good. I had to stop reading. I couldn't read a book. Blurry. Couldn't comprehend. I'm back to reading every day. Good. Um, but I'm not the same woman. I I am having trouble putting weight on, keeping weight on. I ended up uh, at Xplant. They did some CAT scans and found an adrenal tumor, and I had to have my adrenal gland removed, and so that is contributing to my continued not feeling well. And I think that's another issue that nobody's talking about. They messed with my adrenal system so bad, I would be <laughs> tired yeah. and wired. Yeah, yes, tired and wired. And since explant, I'm cool as a cucumber all the well, time. Well, you know, silicone, I don't know how much you ladies know, I'm sure you know. Silicone, back in the 50s, was created as a pesticide to kill cockroaches. What? And yes. No, I didn't they, know this. They yes. took silicone and they were manipulating it to try to attack our pituitary gland on purpose. The pituitary gland is the master gland that feeds the HPA axis, which is pituitary ad um, thyroid adrenal. It's a loop, and it was targeted on purpose to mess with that system. Why? Why do you think? Because so they could sell us other medications. Well, because I think yeah. the true design is to repress women and yeah, keep I'm all people over down. That, personally, um, I know a lot of people. A lot of this it. was partially by design. Yeah. Keep them sick. Keep them dumb. You know, that's a pretty keep strong, medicated. keep them medicated, keep the keep system quiet. perpetuating, feeding wow. into the pharmaceutical system and medical needs. I think this goes a lot deeper than people are willing to go. I personally am at an age, and I've been so ill, and I, I'm not sure I'll get my life back to the point that, you know, where I would like it to be. And so I, I don't have anything else to lose to say my piece. This is bullshit, what's been done. I and there's a lot of suffering and it's heinously sad. And so if my life is just what it's gonna be, then at least my words and my passion. I know I've helped a lot of people. I'm an admin in the group now, and um, my ability to interact comes and goes with how I'm feeling, with, with my strength. Um, but we have a second chance. Lori and Sybil and the 400,000 women fought this battle in the 90s. More, 450,000 human well, beings. Sad. Sad. And how many have died? We're and you here talking we about are. Laura here? Laura. Yeah. Let's let's show Laura. Really? My room. Hello. Hello. Hi, Laura, in her pajamas. In her pajamas. <laughs> and there's Latasha. Latasha <laughs> I mean, how many generations? Laura, I saw Laura the same year that she was on Oprah discussing this heinous situation. I ignorantly was getting implanted. We didn't have social media. I didn't watch right. TV. Yep. I couldn't research. Now I'm seeing these beautiful young 21 yes. fresh young smart Lacey and Casey. Lacey and Casey driven, intelligent. Whatever how we are, we are beautiful. We are not our breasts. Yes. We are these life-giving, succulent, nurturing, brilliant, strong women. Who cares about what our bodies look like? Right, and that's the message we all need to start pushing because this is going to continue because we're all going to keep, they're going to keep going down the rabbit hole. Right, yeah. You know, it gets in so your head, yeah, yeah. the Barbie dolls, Barbie dolls, and I had three older brothers who had put Playboy pictures up, you know, and, and we had, oh, there yeah. was a little, there was, we lived in the woods and there was a little house back in the woods that somebody, like a one room house that somebody used to have or a two room house. And so we'd go back in the woods, and that was like a, it was like this little shack. I don't know what we used to call it now. I can't remember. But and um, when I would go in there, there was Playboy pictures all over the walls. Well, so then you think that you that's, that's what, what men want. Like. Standard. That's what men want because right. you know you trust your brothers, so that must be what men want. Right. And so you go and get breast implants because I never grew breasts. My mother has huge breasts. And the doctors tell you they're safe. Safe and they're safe. And yes, so I thought I was getting safe breasts for a lifetime. I got mine. I was in a very bad car accident. It was insecurity, but we need to break that insecurity. That's right. With the generations coming up. I agree. Bad car accident, and the breasts were a gift to myself for getting through the back surgery and for going through all that hell. And so when I got my settlement, that was because I had nothing and I wanted to.
and didn't have to wear a bathing suit. I was at the beach. Yes, I would too. And um, so just going back to the silicone and, and all that, Gail Hamilton wrote The Dirt Committee, D-I-R-T. It is crucial reading. It is all about the Dow trials. It's all, oh, really? I think there's nine the billion. The Dirt Committee. The Dirt, the dirt Committee, committee by Gail Hamilton. Okay. It exposes everything. All the transcripts from the Dow trials. Everything. All those, all the, I think there's nine million documents that are locked in a vault. That wow. are still there. Nine, how, what, I, nine million? I could be wrong, Dow but I think, documents? Yeah. Oh, I, I think they're from all the trials. Oh, yeah. We have so much information. And what did they shred? Was it Dow that shredded stuff? No, that was that was uh, um, the oh the vaccine industry. people that they shredded, shredded stuff? their stuff. But we oh, have, they did too. We have when you read, I have a document on my wall that is from 1982 from part of the Dow That's that says we know, we yeah. see inflammation, we see that there is a link to possible immune um, autoimmune autoimmune. Yeah. Somebody at the bottom. The sentence says, yes, we've seen it, but we at this time feel it's not worthwhile to invest any money. Not in worthwhile. Us. Thank you. I posted all the documents, all the confidential documents on my wall. Now, according, because they became, they became, the gag order was lifted. Yeah. Because there was a woman, Marion Hopkins, that sued, one of the biggest, large, largest lawsuits, and she would not settle with Dow Corning unless the gag order was lifted of what Dow knew and when they do it. And that is the only reason the moratorium happened, because all those documents got in the hands of Kessler, and he said, Holy moly. You came on the news. We are pulling these off the market until the, the manufacturers can prove their safety. Yeah, you know, somebody somebody said yesterday, I can't remember who it was, if if they would just pull all implants off the market, pull them, then you'll see them all happen. You'll see oh, allergen and all, mentor, whoever. You'll see them start trying to figure out the link of why some of us are getting sick and right. why some of us aren't. You will see them figure it out, lickety split. If you pull them off the market, right, all of them, let them all figure them. it out. Just do it and let them figure it out. They'll figure it out real fast. But no, you're just letting them keep selling them. A little bit here, a little We've bit We've done here. a lot of our, our own hands. figuring out. We really believe that the one of the genetic mutations, MTHFR. Mm -hmm. We do, you know, in, we do studies. And I have it. I and have so does it. my mother. I have it. Our entire admin team in the group. I believe has it. Eighty percent of actually seventy eighty percent of society has it. The problem is when you have it, your body cannot get rid of toxins. Right. And now our food, our water, all of our products, we are so toxed and overloaded mm -hmm. that you know people are like, well, you know, it's in the water, it's the food. What's the difference if you get the boobs? Well, there's the straw that breaks the camel's digest. back. Right. Your you know? immune system can only handle Handles so much. So much at one time. Right. So, and when you logically say to yourself. You're going to put something foreign in your body on top of your heart and lungs. I never thought of it. On top of your thymus gland, which is our master immune gland. Yep. And put pressure on top of your heart. Yep. Constricting it and think that for 20, 30, 40, 50 years at the time we were told for our lifetime. Yeah, lifetime. And think that your body's not going to say, excuse me. Yeah. So now we're, t we're catching people earlier. And so the deeper damage is being, you know, less done. They're getting them out soon. But I do have to say, and I was telling Tracy, this generation is so much sicker than we were. Well, because the new gummy bears, so they much put sicker more than chemicals we in them. Yeah. The new ones. Yeah. So they're they the feel most more toxic. lifelike. The new ones have more chemicals. The new they, ones. The so new is that why? Bears. Is that oh? So okay. Dr. Blay, what uh, what we were told back then, he, the ones that were made in the '70s, from what he's examined, were made so much better. The shells were thicker, so the gel bleed didn't happen as quick, and there wasn't as many toxins in it. When they decided to change it and add more toxins to, to make, make it them feel supposedly more, more natural, and more natural, right, and feel more bleh. natural, that's <laughs> when. But I still truly believe it, and not to not to minimize how sick we were in the '90s, but you, the women that just seem so much sicker, right, and you know, and that could be why. I mean. But well, just these young girls to, doing. They came up to entice the young girls mm -hmm. with the name Gummy Bear. Oh my gosh, I never Marketing. thought of that. Because they just sound so cute. cute. Oh my and gosh. Innocent. And they're the most toxic. They're the most toxic. And doctors today are still, today, they're safe. Oh they yeah. even still will barely say 8 to 10, 15 years. 
Well, even when I went in a year ago and said, I think, I think after I found Nicole's site, after Annette led me to a Nicole site, I think my implants are making me sick. They say, oh, so what do you want me to pull them out and put a new set in? New set? What, right. are, are you even listening to me? And then why are we sticking our breasts in mammograms when we have implants in them? It should be off the table. You should never be able to get a mammogram. That should have been they're something was yesterday. They're smashing They're still them. trying to push it. Well, I know. That's and why you've I'm got, like, no, So you've got this mammogram. fluid built up right? around the capsule, yeah. and then you're smashing it in a mammogram machine, and some of the doctors overfill the saline sacs. Yeah. So, and you're shocked that you're seeing ruptures? I believe mine was ruptured. I, I believe that's I think how a mammogram got, caused my rupture. I do believe that. That needs to be addressed. Yeah. Yes, that absolutely should and be in, addressed. In general, a mammogram on a breast, say you have a cancerous tumor in your breast, and you squeeze that, and yes. you pop that, and all those cells go rushing out. Plus, yes, thank you. The implant, thank a mammogram, you. the implant actually covers the tumors. A mammogram. Like it when you have a mammogram, the tumor. implant makes it harder to right. find cancer. Yes. When, when I was, before I explanted, I kept telling the doctors, I felt like somebody was sticking their thumb right in my left breast, right on my ribs, like pressing so hard all the time. It just hurt all the time. I would drive, I was constantly rubbing, rubbing, trying to massage it, it hurt so bad. And they, they insisted I get a mammogram before surgery. And I kept saying, I'm not gonna put it in a vice grip. Something is wrong and you're gonna smash it. Right. And I kept thinking, what if it's the plug? Right. You know, what if it shifted and that's the plug or something on my rib? But you're going to put it, something's wrong and you want to smash it. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it yeah. doesn't make sense. Again, more radiation. Again, I have some theories about well, when you read people yes. sick. Yes, mm -hmm. there's things about mammograms. One you know. of the doctors, didn't he say chemo, chemo will kill you? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, yes, scary. of course. Did you hear him say that? Yes, and I, I mean, it's no. Yep. So, you know, we don't live in the I don't same trust world. the FDA anymore, no, period. No, I have no not. faith in them Everything anymore. Everything they said, I'm like, really? Everybody is They great. act all nice. At they actually the went They the acted like they the cared about us, but I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not going to get excited. Where do you no. think I'm not gonna hold my breath. is going? The gentleman that just stepped down from the FDA, they had lucky. Yeah, why do you think that happened? Well, where do you think he's going? Probably to go work for one of the manufacturers. Probably. Yeah. It's, That's what it's they all a revolving do. door, same yeah. thing. That's what they the all medicines. do. So we need, you know, they're like, well, how could you be going to social media for your information? Okay, well, we were being uh -huh. lied to by our government. If that wasn't for social media, I'd be dead. I would be I would dead. have either been yeah. physically in a nursing home or I would have shot myself. I or agree. hung myself or something, drowned myself. We are intelligent beings and we are doing what we have to do to save ourselves because they are not doing it for us. Right. And so we will pick up Get the in here, girl. Oh. So we are on our, what, fourth generation? Yeah. So now it's grandmothers, yes. mothers, daughters, and grandchildren. And this doesn't even open the door to the children that have been affected by being yes. born to moms who have implants. When I, when I was in the support group back and then. And breastfed. When, yes. when that's where I'm going with that. So we had our support group, and there was a woman that ran a support group for babies that were having the same symptoms, the same symptoms as the women. Yes. You know, arthritic, and it was crazy. Esophageal. Yeah, um, and I can see her months. face. I can't remember her name. And I had actually said that when I was over. I really... No, you don't want to be on? Okay. Okay. I really don't care, actually. And if I, I can do it, you can do it. I, I had mentioned it. Have you seen me? She, you look I, cute in your pajamas. I had mentioned it when We're I stood up. We're in the hotel up. room. We are. I stood up when I said my speech. I talked about the babies that were injured. I said, you know, because Dow Corning had the studies that they know that the silicone goes through the breast um, right. ducts. We have, we have PubMed pictures the milk of the silicone in the yes. milk ducts. Oh, my God. And she took that clip out. <gasps> she didn't put it on. I, it was part of my speech. Oprah took it out? Oprah, the, the, they took it out. The producers? The Somebody, took it, Somebody out. took it out. Somebody took it out. Somebody took it out. Shame on you. There's a website that, for some reason, we don't, I guess most people don't know about it. It's called Cost Kids, C-O-S-S-K-I-D-S. -S -S okay. They are based out of the Netherlands. They are enormous, like our big groups, and it's all geared towards mothers and their sick children from implants, silicone toxicity. Yeah, that, that's what really scares me is uh, people who have breastfed with children. Uh -huh. 
and then they come out with all these um, these problems. Yeah. Well, this is one of my struggle not to go back to the vaccines with that. A lot of their symptoms are very much like vaccine injury. It's all immune it's toxicity. Toxic. It's toxic. poison is poison. Poison is poison. Poison is poison. Right, poison is poison. Okay, so implants. I mean, people are, we have a gal in our group, she's got a pacemaker. She gets capsules, bacteria gets in those knee. capsules. I have the, the knees, knee the ankles, but yeah, we're talking, you know, if we're talking about a pacemaker or a knee or a shoulder or an ankle, my dad has a heart. And yeah, so we're talking about life allowing devices, life sustaining devices versus a implantable choice for beauty modification. Right. What are stents made of? Heart stents? Silicone. Oh my God. Are they really? We oh have, I have God, friends that. that have shunts in their brain. Yes. They're silicone. We have. Are you serious? Yes. We have people, and it's documented that people are reacting. It's known, it's documented, but there's a choice between can I live or some reaction because now I can walk with a knee. Right. Versus two sets of extras that we don't need. Right. You have to make choices. Right. And as you get older and you learn how valuable, when you don't have your health, you have nothing. Nothing. If you're not healthy enough to get up each day and go to work or have a relationship or feed yourself or whatever it is, what do you have? Nothing. So, you know, it breaks my heart that we're still here fighting. But Lori's generation, I mean, I'm the same age as you, but you were so much more aware and, and I didn't know. But you started this, Sybil. Seeing Sybil, oh. there's no yeah. words. I know. Sybil is, in her, is 80 years old. She's still. And she's still doing this. And it's an embarrassment that yes, we it's, yes. are still here. <laughs> and so now we. An embarrassment is the perfect word. That is the perfect word. Yes. It's an embarrassment. That is shame. the F. Shame. Shame, and shame so, on the FDA. Yeah. And they know who she is. When she got of up course. there, they know exactly of course. who she is. Oh, they knew who you were too, trust me. I'm sure you're on the enemies list. And, and Nicole, I'm sure I am now too. Nicole has given <laughs> yes. her whole life. Nicole has yeah. created something She's the most out powerful. of her heart. How long has the group been, been out there? You know, I mean, just a couple of years, since right? About, since about 15, I found the group at 3,000, and that was in November of 16. And so we, they have grown And to here we are at 71,000. 71,000. Women. We're at 71,000 now? Yeah, 71. 1,000 women. It was only 69 when I left to come on this trip. S 70, right? 1,000 women Do you because hear of that? what just happened no, this seriously, weekend. Seriously, it was at 69, almost 70, and now we're at 71. Two days ago. Just a couple days ago. Because of what just happened. What we're, just we're, happened. We brought in Do you know how many women's lives? Do you know 1,000 women's lives? Yep. And I just, I just have to say, the girls, the girls, and I, our admin team, nobody makes a nickel. Oh, yeah. We work, we have lives, we cannot wait. We are on the wall. It's like our priority. We cannot stay away. We try to take breaks because you get really burnt out. Yes. There's a lot of sadness, there's a lot of despair. But this is a passion born of, of love. And sisterhood. Where else do you find seventy thousand women I know. from every walk of life, every age, every, every, age, every political, time. whatever it is? And all we care about is helping each other find a way to survive. And, and all those women were not talking to get in a lawsuit. Nobody, nothing. Nobody after that is oh, after well, money. That's, that's what we, we are said. after. Stop the madness. Yeah. Stop, Stop it. Back, back, that, back then, that was the thing. When this class action right. settlement came, it was all money hungry women. Right. And they could blame it and say, you're all money right. hungry. Somebody bitches. made that point yesterday. Had said something about, you this know, is this not is not about the money. It's not about the money. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice and maybe someday for yeah. me personally. There's no money. Nobody's going to get anything. Yeah, yeah nobody's going to get so Nobody's going to get anything. So then what's our motivation to come together? Just eventually we have nothing better to do. To save lives. No, but I see yeah, what you're saying. I see but what you're saying, yep. Yeah. But just because we, right, we because have nothing we care. to do. Because we because are know precious true. and valuable. And the mass media and commercialism and the way that the world is going right now, we've got to take back our humanity. 
and our, our intelligence. Oh my God, I love you. She is. Look at you go. It's true. I could just sit here and it's talk true. to you. It's true. And I, yeah. I, I know I could sit and talk to you all day. Yeah. You do. You this, yeah. No, you're right. It's time to. It's so sad. It is so There's sad. not enough sadness in my soul to acknowledge what has occurred. And, and I keep hoping that I'm going to have more healing. And I, I think, I hope so. But There's some I, I really I wonder if you need to go back yes. and um, have them look inside that. I will, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to explore it some more. Um, I personally don't feel that that is the case. I think there's just been so much um, losing the adrenal gland. Yeah, that's a big and one. And all the infections in the teeth and um, the, the intense rupture. And we have seen that women who have that era of silicone and that bad of a rupture, that many years of having it in my body. You know, it took Nicole four solid years to get healthy. She only had them seven years. I had them 25. Wow. I am encouraged and, and am reminded that for me and my age and everything else, and menopause, you're, my hormones are, you know, I'm trying to work on that. And I now have thyroid issues, Hashimoto's, and so there's a lot for me at play. And um, I, I have healed to a, a good degree, and there's just more that I hope comes. And, and getting out and being with my girls has, has made me feel Do you have a group? What, what is your, um, where's your support system where you live? I mean, you have, you know, everybody all over, but what, what do you have on a daily basis? Nobody? Chihuahua Joey. Yeah, that I care about. Was everything to me. Yeah, that oh. would be so rough. I got his little brother. Um, and then they, my insurance, which I wouldn't wish that I Thank God I had insurance. But the contractors and the insurance and the fighting I've and to that. get my house rebuilt. So then when I moved back in the house, all, and I was off work because that's when I really crashed. All the new material started off gassing. Yep. I uh, I knew it as soon as you said it. And so for a year, as I was becoming more and more ill, I was in my house 24-7. All of a sudden I was getting dizzy. All of a sudden I was like I would just rant, I would just wake up and be like, yeah, okay. And then I would have to throw up. I would drive to the store and have to pull over and throw up. Wake up in the middle of the night and throw up. Couldn't pick my head like up off the pillow. And I just like something's really, really wrong. And I didn't have insurance. And I didn't 
did go to the doctor, and I mean, I think I'd gone, and like, your blood work's fine. Right. And on. so I just started, in, you know, and my world got really small. And um, I never married. My dad married like five times. And I just never had seen a, a picture of, mar of a good marriage. And then I picked a couple of rotten guys in my younger days. And somehow I just, I, I became depersonalized. Or I don't know if the right word. Yeah, but I've seen that saying. happen. Numb. Numb. And the implants. And withdrawn. The withdrawn. My bubbly personality That's, yep. was gone. Yep. It was hard to speak. Yep. And so it's just, and then I moved myself away from Orange County where I grew up. I and wanted, then you became even more isolated. No? Yeah, exactly. And mom? Mom, we were never, I've been on my own since I was 13. 13? What do you mean on your own at 13? Well, my parents did not have a good marriage. Well, and yeah. um, they divorced. And my mom wasn't the strongest people person. And it was just not good. And she gave me to the court system. Because I had run away. Oh, dang, girl, you're a warrior. You're not kidding. You are, you are like top of the class of, a, of us warriors, you're aren't you? Fighter. Yeah, I you are. I am a fighter. But you're tired. But you lose something. Yeah. You gain really, and I think what Latasha knows about survival skills. And they served us really, really well so that we could survive. But as a grown adult, you don't, you've lost some connections, you've lost some ability because you're fighting so hard. And I've been in and out of counseling to try to learn how to get out of survival mode, but it doesn't happen easily. Oh no, 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 she's on the phone. No, 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 so anyways, oh, so they gave me to the, my mom, court system and they put me in weird group homes and I said you guys are nuts and I left and I've been doing it since I was about 14 and I'm thankful I never turned to drugs and alcohol so but that's probably good that you had all the that and that's probably gotten you through your implant madness because you've got your survival skills to get you through the implants so we don't need to talk about all that yeah on the implant yeah Topic. So, you know, so I see where how I've gotten here that now it's like, okay, I still hopefully have time on this earth. But you've seen me. You've seen it in my eyes. I'm not okay. I, can see I mean, I walk is. around shaky all the time. Really? And That's your adrenaline though, right? So then they took the gland and it's yeah. just been six months. So we're still trying to work on it. And I'm so resistant that, you know, there's all these pharmaceuticals that they want me to take. And I'm fighting tooth and nail because I'm and afraid And you really can't them. afford holistic. Well, not all the way. Because the deep, I mean, there is something. You said that maybe it'll help. Right. You know, if you can find some. I do trust. work. I do work with a naturopath as well. Okay. And I do take some really wonderful herbs, adaptogens for my adrenal. And I mean, I'm doing as good as you. And you know, you're a massage therapist? Yes. Wish that has to be taxing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh I'm my gosh. Can you I'm imagine? I don't know how you do that. Well, I love what I do and I get to help other people. And so. Yeah, but physically, that's a lot of work. It is. And I know. But it's just me. I've got to survive financially. So what do I do? And so there's always this fear. And that's what's happened to getting so ill in the last couple of years, coming so close to your mortality. And realizing, you know, financial, you know, all of these things, yeah. but living in fear. Chopper, incoming. I can hear it. They're looking for us. <laughs> I'm here. And she's right here. She's right here. So I have some renewed sense, hopefully, of going home. And okay, so let's talk about um, your gifts. You said your animals. Did you ever think of just just to kind of get you some more um, human contact? It's going to bring more joy in your life. It's amazing what you do on the sites. But for your health to do that and see the sadness and be around that sadness as much as you want. It are, takes me down. Yes. So my thinking is what about volunteering in like animal shelters and get the joyous animals? That would be amazing. 
that would be my decision. You know, I think that would be a beautiful thing. I have to work harder at, um, it's like all I really do is I wake up and I find a way to go to work and come home and rest. So I need to work at making more of a life. We gotta get out of here at what 1 o'clock. Oh my gosh, I'm not even ready. Are right, you gonna stop This there? was fabulous. Yes. Thank I you. still thank think there still needs to be. This oh is God, good. This you is, gotta give me no, a couple minutes. No, thank you for sharing your story. This is like, I learned a lot. I really would like it if you would read Gail Hamilton's book, The Dirt Committee. Gail Hamilton. Gail Hamilton, The Dirt Committee. Get the book. I will. I'll read it on the airplane. I'll get it. If I can get it on Kindle, I'll read it on the airplane. I think can. I need to get ready. She's going to I'm going to write it down. I go? I mean, if you want the history. Did anybody see my book? Thank you. I read that book. Thank you and good night.